Hey, everybody, what's going on? I'm DJ Sixsmith. You're watching the Sit Down. Lucas here. Aja Kate Dillon back with us. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Happy to be here. So, Billions is back. Really hyped about that. Taylor Mason, they're up to something this year. It's pretty clear from episode one. What was it like shooting this season? Oh, man. So, you know, we got through filming seven episodes. We were in the middle of uh, filming episode eight when we uh, shut down production. Um, so the first seven episodes are gonna come out and then we still have to film the, the back half of the season. Um, you know, I went into this season like I go into every season, which is with excitement and curiosity. Um, I know very little about what's going to happen ahead of time. Uh, certain things the producers will let me know, but uh, for the most part, I, I like to be surprised. And so um, this season, I was particularly curious uh, how Taylor and Axe were going to get along now that Taylor's back at Axe Capital. Um, but also I was really curious and excited about uh, how the relationship between Taylor and Wendy was going to develop because mm -hmm. that relationship has really suffered some, some serious blows. You know, last season it was, you know, a game of cat and mouse, but who was the, who was the cat? Who was the mouse? Maybe right. they're both cats, you know. So, I think um, this season I was excited uh, to see those relationships uh, develop. It's interesting you mentioned that relationship because so much of the focus is on Axe and Chuck, but that Wendy Taylor relationship. There are so many different layers to it. What is most intriguing when you think about that relationship? Um, you know, Taylor and Wendy. Uh, I think that um, they can't get away with anything with each other. I mean, even last season when, you know, when Taylor's pulling one over on Wendy or Wendy's pulling one over on Taylor, I think they're both always aware that that's a possibility and that, and they've thought about the contingency plan if that was a possibility. And they also continued, I mean, I think every time Wendy double-crossed Taylor last season, Taylor was both like, um, deeply hurt and also like very impressed. <laughs> I mean, there is a level, they both, I think, uh, really respect and, and love each other to, uh, to some extent. And so uh, I, th I think that they, um, I hope, I was, I was curious to see if they would both figure out that perhaps they'd be better working together than against each other this season. And, and I think we get to see hopefully the answer to that question so far over the first seven episodes. That's why I think Taylor is such an interesting character because they are somebody that can hurt really deeply from something, but then they also just respect the hell out of what that person's doing. Like, how do you strike that balance when you're playing the character? Because it's all these different scenarios. It's like being an axe cap, running their own shop, coming back and how do you manage that up and down when it comes to all this? Gosh, uh, I think it's gotta be because the writing is so extraordinary. We have such incredible writers that, you know, I'm able to sort of get on the ride that is Taylor and um, and and go with it because there isn't ever something that's like written for Taylor or a moment where I go like, God, that feels, that doesn't feel right or that that definitely wouldn't happen or, you know what I mean? Or that that's too extreme or it just, it's always, it always feels like it's right on the right on the money, no pun intended. Where does the rage room scene rank in terms of the scenes you've done in Billions? That was pretty epic to end the show there. Oh man, uh, gosh! I mean, one of certainly, certainly one of the more fun things I've gotten to do. You know, that was um, that was the first scene that I got to come back and film for season five. So as a way to, to come back in, literally come back in swinging, uh, was like, I don't know if that was just scheduling or if they sort of did it as a gift to me. Uh, I'd like to think it was a gift for me, um, but it was, it was super fun. And you know, like when you film a thing like that, you know, we're filming it and I smash up the room and then they're like, okay, reset. Right. And so then I go and they like brush all the glass off me while our crew comes in and they're like vacuuming the glass and sweeping it up and resetting the sh I mean, it's, we have such an incredible crew. It was, it was, an, it was a really fun day. So how many times did you end up smashing the room in the pieces there? Mm, okay. Definitely at least 20 times. <laughs> may, may, 50 might be an exaggeration, but like, wow. if I think about the amount of takes that we did, uh, but you know, I mean, it's a lot. Like at least at least twenty times, I smashed up that room. So that was an epic scene. The the Becky Lynch scene was pretty dope too. What was the coolest part of that one? God, 
uh, what, watching it. I watching the whole thing. I mean, literally just like being there and getting to see that. I think, I mean, also I will say like, I mean, Becky Lynch is incredible. And like, we knew, we knew that she was going to bring it. Um, Maggie Siff and Becky did, you know, they trained together and worked out the choreography of that moment, but none of us got to see any of that work. So I think for me, it was ultimately impressive to watch Maggie just show up and kick ass. I mean, we knew she would, but to see it in real life was like, and it looks incredible uh, in the episode too. So we had the whole Taylor Wendy situation last season. We got Chuck and Taylor this season. How much time on camera had you spent with Giamatti before this season? Uh, just the one episode last season, I think, mm -hmm. when, when Taylor gets arrested. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, and then that scene in, in Chuck's office. Mm -hmm. I think that's it, yeah. Yeah, because I've heard Koppelman talk about how, like, Paul just kind of gets into character and kind of does his thing right before you start shooting. So what did you pick up from shooting with him? Um, gosh, everything. Uh, I mean, Paul is, Paul's really just one of the best people I've ever met. He's, he's so funny and generous. And I, I will say, um, this is true of everyone that I work with. Everyone is so on top of their ish, you know what I mean? Like everyone shows up knowing what they're there to do, knowing their lines, like there's so, so there's a lot of room for fun. Not like when we're filming the scene, but we can, you know, they'll yell cut and we'll be like, okay, so anyway, what I was saying like before we were doing, you know what I mean? And then they'll call action and we're like, okay. And then we're right back into it. And um, I think that's the way we work, you know, uh, not every day is like that, but most days are. And obviously every actor is different and has their own process, what works for them. But um, working with Paul is a particular joy because of how much fun, he's just having so much fun. And so you can't help, but also have, have fun with him. That seems to be one of the best parts of the show because it felt like,